Thank you very much, Andy, and to the AWS team. My name is Jason Kyler. It is great to be here. This is our hometown. Uh, it was very easy. We, we operate about uh, five blocks from here. So uh, Andy mentioned a little bit about Vessel. I'll, I'll tell you just a, a tiny bit more. We provide early access to the video uh, and creators that people adore. Uh, the, uh, whether it's Blake Shelton's latest music video or the latest antics from Ellen DeGeneres on her TV show and everything in between, that's what Vessel is. Um, I actually, a little trivia, I spent nine years working at Amazon.com uh, back in the day from 1997 to 2006. So I got to build alongside Andy for many, many years. Uh, great, great time. Uh, and then after that, I was the founding CEO of Hulu. And I wanted to sort of share with you what the early days of Hulu were all about. So this is a picture of a data center. Uh, this, uh, let's go back to the summer of 2007. Uh, some of the first things we did, the decisions that we made when we were building Hulu was to spend millions of dollars and thousands of, of people hours uh, in data centers. So we had a data center in Los Angeles. We spun one up in, in Virginia. We bought a lot of hardware. We configured that hardware. We racked that hardware. We had to replace it when it, when it uh, wasn't working. This was a lot of time and energy. Uh, and it was necessary in the summer of 2007, but unfortunately it wasn't a difference maker. Um, and so I'm going to come back to that here in just a couple of minutes. So let's fast forward now six years later uh, and talk about uh, what happened in the beginning uh, uh, with Vessel. So, uh, and, uh, so if we could turn the slides here uh, to get to the next slide. Apparently there must be a slide problem. There we go. So, um, so in the summer of 2013, Rich Tom, who was the CTO of Hulu, and myself, we created Vessel. And uh, these were the humble beginnings of Vessel. This was our first office. This was the global headquarters. There were two desks. Rich would sit in the left-hand desk. I'd sit on the right-hand desk. Sometimes we'd have meetings in the middle at that little conference table in the middle of the room. And, uh, and we thought about big, gnarly problems that we wanted to solve. Uh, and, and the key here, and, and, and just like with any startup, is you want to spend as much a percentage of your time and energy trying to do the things that you're uniquely skilled at and you have an edge. Uh, so we were very fortunate in the summer of 2013, which was very different in the summer of 2007, where we were able to spend almost all of our time focused on things around video and the things that we had experience doing and the things that we th thought we had an edge on, on others to, to go and create. So we spent a lot of time at that whiteboard. We spent a lot of time with post-it notes on the side. Um, and we had these ambitions to create something very, very special um, called Vessel. Uh, and, and it required a lot of different things. So we had to make sure that um, we could take payments on a global basis. We had to make sure that we could store a lot of video from premium content creators, um, uh, ultimately tens and thousands of them. Uh, we also had to make sure that we had websites that work for both creators and consumers alike. And the service had to work on all devices, um, uh, which is a tremendous amount of technical complexity. And then ultimately, it was global as well. So a lot of big ambitions for a very, very small, humble team. Um, so the big question was, how are we going to go off and do this? Were we going to do what we did in 2007, where we start to spend millions of dollars and thousands of person hours on, on data centers? Um, well, for us, it was an incredibly easy decision, which was we leveraged Amazon Web Services from the very start. Now, keep in mind, that the founding team of Vessel largely came from Hulu. So our background was not in Amazon Web Services. Um, we very much were the data center uh, kind of uh, uh, version of building a new company. And so we were relative newbies. So we started pretty humbly and modestly where there were four core services, you know, four primitives from AWS that we leveraged, that the ones that you see on the screen behind me. And, uh, and we were so excited. The dev team was so excited by their experience with these four core services that we quickly grew to leverage 11 of Amazon's core services. Um, uh, if Rich Tom, our CTO and co-founder, were on the stage here with me, he would describe this as a dream come true in terms of DevOps in the cloud. Uh, and, and, and please know that there's actually a number of services that we intend to use in the next several months as well. Now, the other thing that Rich and the team would say if they were on the stage as well, which is the services are amazing, and you all know that in this crowd. Um, they're performant, they're well-documented APIs. Uh, the Amazon team clearly knows what they're doing, and they do this at scale. Um, however, half the value that we get from working with Amazon Web Services goes to the community. So the fact that all of you and people around the globe have been using these services, and many more, and run into so many issues that we have yet to run into, it accelerates our ability to move fast and to build services that matter in this world. 
Um, so it's that community that really is half the value. Um, we learn from you, and hopefully over time you'll learn a little bit from us too. So, uh, so, so that's a big part of the, our, our decision to use AWS. Now, um, if we could go to the next slide. The, the, the relationship is pretty simple here. On the left-hand side, uh, what Vessel does is the things that we're uniquely skill skilled at. We're leveraging our experience from Amazon, our experience from Hulu, obviously the growing team at, at Vessel. Um, this is what we do best. Um, um, and then what Amazon does on the other side are the things that they do best. These core building blocks, these services that are very foundational, um, uh, and we're very, very thankful for them. It's very fair to say that there's a whole lot of love in both directions uh, between us to Amazon Web Services and, and back as well. So uh, um, I want to share with you one very important case study before I wrap up. And this is very timely. This, this happened literally uh, over the last 16 days. It's that timely. So uh, I'm going to play a short little video here for you. And it's all about our launch. So 16 days ago at 12.01 AM, we launched globally. Um, and uh, we had a lot of things lined up for this launch. There was about 175 different creators that had in total about 200 million rabid fans that followed their every move. And these creators, in many cases, were teed up to go and, and share the good news that they were going to be on Vessel and that you could get their content early. So a lot of them created videos. A lot of them were ready with tweets and Facebook posts and whatnot. And, and just keep in mind, all of this stuff was happening at exactly the same time at 12.01 AM 16 days ago. So here's just 30 seconds of, of, of one video. We signed up with Vessel a brand new platform for everyone who wants to see things before anyone else. You can see a brand new episode of The Crack wait, right no, now wait, wait. on Vessel. Oh, wow. I don't know what to expect anymore. All of your favorite shows, The Crack, Villager TV, and Egg's Guide to Minecraft will be available on Vessel first. Well, what are you waiting for? So what Element Animation did here, and they're one of 175 different folks, again, collectively, that have about 200 million rabid fans, is they were releasing this content at 12.01 AM, 16 days ago, from Blake Shelton to everybody else, and, and uh, all happening at once, and all sending people to Vessel at that moment in time to get a free year. So this was a time-sensitive thing, a big, huge rush of people onto our servers at the exact same time. So, in many cases, this would be a holy crap moment. Uh, um, this is the kind of thing that can kill a service before it even gets started. And, uh, and I, I will tell you that in 2007, this is how we would feel with that kind of a thing happening. We would never, never have the ambition to pull off what we did 16 days ago. But because Amazon Web Services had our back, um, it was not an OMG moment or an OM asterisk G moment. Uh, uh, it was not that at all. It was a walk on the beach, um, uh, and we felt incredibly safe and secure knowing that Amazon had our back. So um, I'm very, very thankful, literally 16 days into it, knowing that Ellen DeGeneres is talking about Vessel, and Blake Shelton is talking about Vessel, and everybody in between is talking about Vessel. I couldn't be happier uh, that we get to work with this great team and this great company. Uh, and I want to say thank you to Andy and, and the whole AWS team for having us here today. Thank you very much. Thank you.